Hello, everybody. This is Chuck Carnival, co-founder of Fast Graphs, the fundamentals analyzer software tool, also known as Mr. Valuation. I am so proud and happy to announce that after this long wait, we will finally be launching the new and improved versions of the Fast Graphs Fundamentals Analyzer software tool tomorrow, Saturday, December 4th, 2021. So it'll automatically happen. You won't have to do anything. When you log into your Fast Graph using your regular login, you'll come to the new site here. And what I'm going to do with this video, I'm going to try to keep it relatively short. But what I'm going to do here is just give you some basic overview of the general navigation. The, the, the tool works pretty much the same as it always has. So it'll be pretty intuitive you to be able to learn how to navigate through this new tool just by looking around the actual site a little bit. But before I do that, I also want to point out that this is launching in beta. We believe the tool is about 98, 99% functional right now. Everything's working uh, pretty much as expected. However, we do expect there will be some minor bugs, and we're going to ask you to give us your help in identifying those. So if you run into any bugs, please uh, send Polly at polycfastgraphs.com, a short email pointing out any bugs you might have found, and then our development team will get on them promptly. But in addition to that, beta also means that I want you to know that our first goal was pretty much to duplicate the legacy product. You know, the software that the original product was built on is becoming obsolete. It's not really supported anymore, but this has been a gargantuan tool. We had to literally rebuild fast graphs from start to finish, you know, reduplicating every line of code and putting it into this new and improved software. But the software gives us the ability, the flexibility, the capacity, if you will, to be able to add enhancements to this tool very quickly, easily, and efficiently going forward. And we have very significant enhancements planned for you. And they'll be coming, you know, as time unfolds going into the new year, 2022 next year. But, you know, it is beta. And so please be patient with it. If there's any problems, let us know quickly. But also be aware that there'll be a lot of new enhancements coming up. Now, we have made some major enhancements with this new tool. Even though it's pretty much what the old tool was, we're doing things like we have weekly closing stock prices instead of monthly. I think you'll find the tool to function a lot more quickly and more robust, be able to go through metrics and go through portfolios and companies a lot quicker than you have in the previous tool. So there's a lot that this new version is bringing to the table for us. But in addition to that, there's so much more to come. So be on alert for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the tool. And let me just basically give you a very short introduction into the overall navigation of the site here. This will be one of numerous videos that I'll be providing tutorial videos on how to use the tool more effectively, more efficiently, and even how to research stocks better. But here, this first just general navigation of the site. So when you log in, you'll come to your basic fast graphs. And you have the symbol box up here at the top left where you would type in symbols. And, you know, you just simply use it just like you always did. Type in the symbol. The name pops up. Click on the name. And I've just, you know, brought up Eltria or the old Philip Morris here. Then at the very top bar here, you've got fast graphs, which we're currently in. Then you have fun graphs. You just click the fun graphs tab and it immediately takes you into fun graphs. And then, of course, you navigate the millions, the per share graph, the ratios, you know, the performance graphs. When you're in the graphs now, we have, you know, you have arithmetic, logarithmic, bar, line, yearly, quarterly. I'll get into these details in much greater detail in future videos. Then you access your portfolios, and there's been several enhancements done on the portfolios, which, again, I'll cover in a future tutorial. But this is how you access the portfolio. And then screening is something that's going to be very powerful in the future. It's pretty much the same screening tool that you've been used to, for those of you who are premium subscribers. Now you just go into your create screen button here and you hit customize screen that gives you the opportunity to go into the various metrics. Again, this works pretty much like the old version did. I do want to give you a few tips before I leave this video today on the new tool and how some of the functionality works a little differently. 
this little cog here, this little wheel, this is your settings. This is where you would do things like change the number of dollars that you have invested in the stock if you want to put your actual investment amount in there when you calculate performance. Here you can enter custom valuation, like you can put another PE ratio on the graph. Here's your split and spin off adjusted tab. And this would be a good example here. So right now it's all split and spin off adjusted. If I unadjusted, if many of you probably know, I hit the save changes button down here. And this is what Philip Morris or Eltria looked like prior to spinning off Kraft and Philip Morris International. So you, you know, you see those spinoffs here. And that's what the graph looks like. And of course, you can simply go back to that, go click your drop down, go back into split, adjusted, save the changes, and you're back to, you know, the graph as it defaults to right now. At the very bottom of the graph, you have a drop down for the splits, and you have a drop down for spinoffs that you can basically review the dates of any splits that occurred and how they occurred. So that's, you know, again, very similar to what the old graph is. You've also got your navigation down here at the bottom where you can add and delete things. And again, I'll get into more detail on this as we go forward into the tool. But anyway, there you have it. That's the basic navigation. Just, you know, look for the parts of the tool that you're used to looking at and just go ahead and click to them. You can also access all your portfolios by this drop down here, or you can actually go into the portfolios and access your portfolios. So again, nothing has really changed here a great deal. Some of the things are in some different spots, but if you just kind of look around, I think it'll be intuitive for you to be able to function with the new tool. So there you have the basic navigation of the new FastGraphs Fundamentals Analyzer software tool. And before I say goodbye, I do want to thank you all for the patience you've shown us. While we've worked very hard to get this tool out to you, I think you're going to love the tool. You're going to find it a lot quicker. And once we start adding new enhancements, you're going to really learn to see that this tool and the, and the commitment that our team has to helping you be a better investor in the long run. I mean, it's been Chuck Carville saying thanks for watching. Look forward to forthcoming tutorials that I'll be providing for you. And, you know, congratulations to our team on a job well done getting this tool out to you, our valued subscribers. Thank you.